rushed. Right now, districts across the Carolinas, they are getting ready for a school year like they've never had before. Wake Up Charlotte's Chloe Lester joining us live now from Gaston County. And Chloe, in the midst of so much uncertainty, more and more parents are now turning to private schools. Good morning, Carolyn. Yeah, private schools don't have to follow the governor's guidelines. So many in our area, including Gaston Day School, are reopening for in-person learning. It seems to be something families are looking for because they all say they've seen a major spike in interest. It won't look the same as years past, but students will be back at Gaston Day School next month. The school seeing a major increase in interest from public school parents. And when CMS and Gaston County and York County announced their plans, it was just um, overwhelming. Many desperately searching for an in-person option for their kids. Our response is to caution them from uh, moving them to an independent school landscape for one year just to solve a child care need. But they have limited space this year because they're bringing all 500 kids back at once. They're spreading out into every inch of the building. The cafeteria and theater are now classrooms. Before they walk inside, students will be met with a thermal scanner. Inside, there are reminders to stay six feet apart and masks are required. This place used to operate like a college campus with students moving all over, working on cross-curricular projects with other grades. And unfortunately, one of the sacrifices we've had to make is to develop cohort groups where students are isolated so that if we do have somebody test positive, we don't have to address the entire school. We're just looking at segmented populations. And regardless of if it's a private school or a public school, these plans will likely have to change based on what's happening with the coronavirus. I am told that Gaston Day School can switch overnight to an all remote learning plan if necessary. Live in Gaston County, Chloe Leshner, Wake Up Charlotte. And we've learned that flexibility can be so important at a time like this. All right, Chloe, thank you.